So a couple weeks ago, I picked up this Firefly Les Paul that I saw on Facebook Marketplace, and it was from a guy just a couple blocks down from where I live. And while I was there, he was nice enough to show me this acoustic guitar he has with a really unique backstory. He calls the guitar Georgia, and I invited him down to the studio here to tell that cool story and so we could do some samples of how it sounds. And that's the video you're going to see now. Hey guys, so this is my buddy Jeff. I showed you or I spoke about seeing the most awesome acoustic <laughs> guitar that I've ever seen. I got a uh, Firefly Les Paul from you what, about two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, yeah. Yeah, he lives just down the street from me and I saw an ad on Facebook and then he brought this guitar out because he was nice enough to share it with me and I said I got to get this on the channel because this thing is gorgeous. So you told me a really cool story about it, so please tell it again. So I, I think in order to tell it right, we got to talk a little bit about the guy who built it first. Yeah. So Eric Bright is his name. Um, he lives in or lived in Scroon Lake, New York, uh, which is about 45 minutes north of Lake George. So he's, he's up there and close to Canada. And he, when I first met him, um, he was 73 years old then. But what was pretty wild about him is I, I saw a pamphlet of these guitars beforehand and you couldn't get to him. Yeah. Because he lived on the other side of Scroon Lake, so you needed a boat or a snowmobile if you were in the winter. Or if you were really happy, you drove around the lake and you hiked four miles down to his little cabin where his workshop is. So I, I tried, I wanted to meet him so bad and see these guitars that I saw these pictures of. And my friends up there called me and say he just opened his studio. So I called right away and made an appointment with him. I think it was in February, right before COVID. I think the, yeah, the year, be, or yeah, February, because what was it, March, April, COVID started. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I meet with him in this, this little house on the other side of the lake, and he had 12 of these guitars hanging on the wall. And <clears throat> 12. he had 12 that he had made. Wow. And I kept being drawn to this one. And the interesting thing is his daughter names all the guitars as he builds them. So this one is Georgia. Yeah. And <clears throat> I didn't realize how different this one was from everything else. So the cool thing about these guitars and about Eric, he, here's an old, older guy. And he was a special ed teacher retired and got into building guitars. Cool. Yeah. You know, who, who would have thought, right? Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> and what makes it even wilder is these are all made out of what they call sinker wood. Right. So the wood's at least 100 or 200 years old, sometimes <laughs> even older. And he dives into the lakes in the region and pulls up these old logs that they used. When they used to do logging in the old days, they would dam up a river, they float them down, and the ones that sank, they left. Right, right. And this is what he made the guitars out of. So he'd dive way down and pull up these big sinker locks. And um, <laughs> just, I, I can't even imagine this old guy pulling these logs up, you know? Yeah, and yeah. then he would send them out to a, a, a lumber yard and have them um, tilled, I guess is the word, I'm not sure. But, uh, and he, he would do things with burls um, to get the right look, um, which is really had a sound hole here. This is a mirror shape. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is oak here uh, yeah. with mother of pearl. And uh, he, he what, what, what is this? So this is what's really cool about this guitar. This was the only one he had that did not come from the Adirondacks. Okay. This one, the woods actually came from South Carolina, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, I, I brought this because I didn't want to screw this up. Right. I'll put <coughs> Excuse a screenshot me. of it up for you guys, too. So this is 300-year-old historic low country sinker cypress reclaimed from Edisto and Wakanama rivers in South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. You know, so every acoustic, you know, it's all um, spruce tops. Yeah. Alaskan's yeah. big, uh, the Adirondack, and this is cypress. Right, right. And then what makes it even more weird is that the sides, and let me, let me flip this over a little bit, the sides and the back 
are actually made out of pecan. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. who makes a guitar out of pecan? Well, you eat yeah, pecan. You don't make a guitar yeah, out I've of, never it. Heard of it. And, and, and here he has the oak inlays with uh, the mirror image again with the mother of pearl. Yeah. So the neck is pretty standard as far as being a maple neck, but the fretboard is cherry. Right. Oh, some of the other strange things is the saddles and the nuts um, are made out of cow bone. Right. So I, I didn't ask him where he got the cow yeah, from. I don't know, I don't know that. that. Um, a live edge, uh, as they call uh, the bridge here, he right. rather than trimming it down, snake wood with mother pearl in there. Right. And his pick guard is clear. Right, yeah. And the bindings are black walnut that was blown over from some tree down there. Yes, I love the and bevel. And this, this is his bevels, which he did on all his guitars. And this is actually a cherry inlay. Right. Um, if I read that correctly. Um, but this had a tone that no other guitar that he had yeah. had the richness and, and the fullness of the bass. And it was, um, you know, usually you get like 20 years before you get a really nice, even mellow sound. Right. And this thing just, just sings. Mm -hmm. And the electronics that are in it that you're getting the sound out of when you play? Fishman. Fishman, okay. Fishman, yeah. Yeah. And his case out of uh, England, I think. And the keys, the tuning pegs um, are not shallers, which I was surprised. Black Gotha? Gotha? G-O-T-A-H? Yeah. I shouldn't say old guy because I'm getting pretty close to him, but, you know, <laughs> older, he, guy. older guy, and, and he, he's building these amazing, and no guitar, no two guitars are the same. Yeah, there's the same. one on, and wow, it's amazing. He brought, I think her name was Ann. He said, you want to play Ann? I said, no. He said, what do you mean, no? I said, I want Georgia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he said, why? And I said, I, I can't explain it. it it's kind of, I, I, I refer to Harry Potter with the wand, the way the wizard yeah, meets the wand. The wand. have a connection and, and that's great I, I pride myself in being the world's okayest guitarist <laughs> that's great <laughs> and uh, so but this this guitar makes me yeah. sound a little better than okay I guess I, I don't know I love the way it plays um, I obviously play a lot more electric than acoustic but uh, it plays easily it doesn't feel like it's fighting me it's a beautiful there's feel. a smoothness yeah. to the cherries so in the old days a really good quality it had ebony fretboard yeah Nigerian or, or whatever, and um, then I guess the that became outlawed, and then they went with rosewood, which was nowhere near the same. Right. Um, <clears throat> and now even that's can't use, so you, they're using what old maple now, right? Right, right. And uh, this thing, I, I think a lot of the guitar people really should take notice and start. Yeah. No. You know, th with th cherry. This guy's passed away since you said, right? Well, Sorry. this is the sad thing. So yeah. last year. Yes, last June, a year ago, June, <coughs> we would go up to the Adirondacks a lot, my wife and I, and I called him, had him do a little checkup on her, and um, he didn't answer. Mm. Sent him a text, sent him an email, it didn't hear from him, you know, and it was about three weeks later, I found out that he was on his tractor, and the tractor rolled and rolled on top of him. Oh, oh yeah. Um, he was, it took a while to find him because of where they lived and he was airlifted out uh, to a trauma center, I think of Vermont. Yeah. And um, he was taken off life support two weeks later. Yeah. Which is really, really sad because really he, he was such a, a sweet man. I, I just, I would, could sit and talk to him for hours. Yeah. And he had a trio, they did, um, not bluegrass, 
but old Appalachian folk kind of music, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and, and they really weren't good, but they were great because the, the band wasn't that good, but they were great together kind of thing. Yeah, they right, had a right, right. unique sound, and I just, I, he gave me a CD. I love playing it, but... Uh, That's cool. So um, one last question. Mm -hmm. So you said this one's named Georgia. Georgia. He named them all. Do you happen to name your guitars? No, I never did. Me neither. No, never <laughs> my, did. My, my girlfriend gives me crap about it all yeah. the time. She's like, you gotta give them names. What's the name? She starts giving them names. Now she's got names for yeah. them. I don't. <laughs> I never, never even thought about it. And uh, and the funny thing is, all my friends, um, if we're together, you know, they, I have a, a very cool twelve string handmade for me by Phil Batello. Yeah. And and they'll call it the twelve string. They won't say, you know. How's the bit? But this one they call Georgia. Yeah. So well, there's only one thing that he didn't make that's on this guitar. Right, right. And that is the cover here. Right. So in order to buy this, I sold some guitars. I sold my Les Paul, my SG. I sold my piece of crap strap from Mexico that I hated that thing. Yeah. And uh, this was on the SG. My wife had that made for me. Yeah. Um, by David Patello, Phil's son. Yeah. And I, I wasn't going to part with that. So. Yeah. I asked Eric if we can make it work for this, and right. because this is really solid, the, the tuning is up here. Right, right. Um, but we put it on there anyhow because yeah. that's my initials, so Amazing. that wasn't going to go any place. Thanks so, for taking the time out. Oh, sure I really appreciate. It. Yeah. I I love talking about the man, the myth, and the legend with these things, yeah. and. I, last I heard, there was still quite a few guitars for sale. I think his daughter is selling them. I'll have to look that up. So, if I can find it, I'll, I'll post it up on the channel. Yeah, the website was Bass Rock Guitars, or he was on Facebook. I, I haven't been able to talk to them in a while, so I don't really know what they're doing. But if I could get info, I'll let you know also. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.